Okay, so in this video, we're gonna download and install Python. Head over to python.org. Now, even if you have Python already installed on your computer, I recommend that you uninstall it and reinstall it using the method that I'm gonna do in this video. It's very, very important. Now, to uninstall it, if you already have Python on your computer on Windows, go to the Start menu and find the Control Panel, and then just uninstall a program, Search down until you see Python and double click it and that'll uninstall it. If you're on a Mac or a Linux, you likely already have Python, but it's a very old version of Python. So you're gonna want the newest version. Uh, so again, you're gonna wanna install the, you know, the newest version. So head over to python.org, click the download link here, and this thing pops up and it suggests 3.6.5. This is the latest version. If this is a different version number by the time you watch this video, that's perfectly fine. Major version numbers are the first number. So if it's Python 4, Four, it might not work as well, right? But if it's 3.6.7 or 3.8 or 3.9, 3. anything else, you're gonna be fine. Even if it's 4.0, you should probably still be okay. Uh, but you can view the full download list to find older versions of Python. So if for some reason you're watching this video five years from now and they're on Python 4 and it doesn't work for some reason, you can always go back and, and download this version as well and just use it. So go ahead and click this and then save it somewhere on your computer. I'm just gonna save it to my desktop. It really doesn't matter where you save it. And it's not a very big file. And once it's downloaded, you could either find it wherever you installed or wherever you saved it on your computer and double click it. Or you can just come down here and click it right here. And it says we're opening Python. Okay, so now this is very, very important. You see down here at the bottom, this add Python 3.6 to path. We absolutely have to click that. It's very, very important. This allows us to run Python basically anywhere on our computer, not just in the Python directory, right? So we need to do this. This is very, very important. Have to have this clicked. Uh, this is why I suggest you uninstall Python and reinstall it because by default this is not clicked I don't know why it should be right so if you installed Python in the past likely you just left it unclicked because everyone always uses the defaults right so you know if you did that you're gonna have to you're gonna have problems running Python the way we do it in this course so go ahead and reinstall it make sure that's clicked now instead of clicking install now we want to custom installation and make sure this pip is checked it is by default but I just still like to check just to make sure pip Pip installs other programs. Pip is what we're gonna use to install something called virtual environment and also Django itself. So very important that this is installed. And also pip won't work correctly unless this checkbox has been checked. So that's another reason to make sure this is checked. So I wanna do that. So pip is, in, is checked. The rest of these things we really don't care about. So just leave them as the default. Click next, advanced options. We probably do want to install for all users. It's a weird Windows thing. The rest of these things we can just leave the way they are and then click install. If you get a little box asking, are you sure? Click yes. And now here we go. So this can take a few minutes or not very long at all. <laughs> In the meantime, I should mention at Udemy, they often ask you to rate a course after the first couple of videos. It's really weird because it's too soon for you to know whether the course is good or or not, but I would really appreciate if you gave me a five-star review. If the course is terrible, you can always go back and change it. I'll even show you how to do that later on. But uh, anything below that is really sort of detrimental to the course. So like, for instance, just grab my little stupid calculator while we're waiting here. Three out of five stars is a 60. That's a that's an F in you know grade school <laughs> grading right. Uh, four out of five. That's a, an 80. That's a B minus. That's pretty bad, right? So basically, it means courses with higher reviews are the ones that show up in the ranking. So if somebody goes to Udemy and types in Django, if I get a bunch of four star reviews, my course isn't going to show up, right? So uh, I would appreciate it if you did that. I'll I will bribe you silly for doing that later on in the last video of this course. I've got a, a special offer for you. I'll show you about if you leave a good review. You can skip ahead and watch that if you want, or just wait till the end. But anyway, I would really appreciate it and that would be cool. So now this is almost done and we can get back to the important stuff of the course and none of that marketing nonsense. I'm bad at marketing. I don't know how to do it. So I just, please review my course. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, so just another minute or so and boom, setup was successful. So that's pretty much it. We're done. This should now work. We should be able to use Python anytime we want, anywhere we want on our computer and we're ready to go. So in the next video, we'll start to set up the virtual environment and go on from there.